Überleben, if I'm pronouncing that right, hooked me up with a couple ferro rods. Now, if you guys watch any of my bushcraft videos, a ferro rod is all I ever use to, uh, to light my fires in the bush. I never use a lighter. Um, I know it's easier and simpler, and uh, it's not really any need to be carving away at your ferro rod all the time, but I'd rather just be really, really competent with a ferro. And, uh, and when you do get real good with it, it feels just as easy as a lighter, as long as you have a little bit of tinder, Either whether you bring it along with you or, or make a little bit yourself out of a feather steak or, or a little bit of fat wood, you're good to go really easy. This is two different models, so uh, I haven't really been talking to Uber even much. They just uh, sent me these two rods, which was very nice. The packaging, I gotta commend them, is beautiful. If I ever release any type of products, this is the type of, type of packaging. I'd like to, uh, I'd like to go with. This is just beautiful. They've got their, uh, they've got their logo there, Überleben Modern Bushcraft. And it fades down here into a winter forest, uh, some trees, and just beautiful. There's their website. I will note, although they sent me these rods, they did not give me any stipulation. You have to make a video. You have to post on Instagram, um, I'm not getting anything for this video, they didn't even ask me to do a video. They just sent me a couple of rods, how nice is that? Um, the models, this is the Zunden Traditional, hope you can see that. And this one here is the Craftig XL. This is the one I'm most excited about. This is a half inch rod. These packages are also um, Ziploc, which is quite cool. So you can put them back in. I had one of them out of the pack, just to have a quick look. Ah, come on. My fingers don't fit. Okay, I'm just gonna take both of them out of the packs here. So here are the two rods. Now, I don't have much information on their products. To be honest, I didn't really do much researching. As far as I can see, these are just a standard rods, like anyone can order these fair rods. So I'm guessing they get the rods ordered in and then they sort of put their own little touch on them. And what I'm gathering is that this is sort of what makes it their own. This addition is on both of them. This is supposed to be your your striker right here, and you've got a. It's essentially a little multi-tool. Here's a map scale, a one one hundred thousandth or five kilometer scale. You've got a little hex key here or a bottle cap opener. You've got a striker on this side. You have a fifty millimeter measurement. And it's attached to uh, directly to the ferro rod, so you always have a little striker with you. On this one, the multi-tool is the exact same. I gotta admit, I'm a little bit, uh, I don't generally like strikers attached like this. I like using my knife, but I will give it a chance. Won't knock it till I try it. So, yeah, this, this I love here. Look at this big half inch rod. Boy, you could light a lot of fires with that one. And it's really long as well. Uh, just, it's a beautiful rod. This one's attached with shock cord. Um, it comes a little too short to, to use. You really gotta stretch it out. You're able to do it, but uh, I would lengthen it a little bit. For the purpose of this these tests, I'm going to uh, unattach the shock cord. And the same thing with this one. This one actually comes with a somewhat lengthy piece of uh, paracord, it looks like. 550 cord. That's nice. That could definitely come in handy. It makes it long enough where, I don't know, I'm just guessing. Yeah, you could wear that around your neck. I'm guessing that's probably the idea. Huh. I do like that feature. Comes ready to 
sort of right over your neck and, and it's actually a pretty nice little setup. So this one you could use without detaching. And uh, well, let's scrape off a little bit of that coating. And give it a few strikes. Whoop, there we go. Once you get that coating off, the striker is seems like it's unidirectional. One side, this top side here, is kind of rounded down over. But this side, the teeth are quite sharp, so I'm guessing you'd use it in this manner. It does throw a nice, real nice spark. This one has a little handle, a piece of wood. Uh, it's actually pretty nice. Nice job done with it. Super secure. I was thinking, looking through the package, that this would look like something that I'd probably take off because it's a lot of times they throw these handles on, but they're done pretty crappy. This one is actually done very nicely. Don't know what kind of wood. Looks like birch to me. Maybe a hickory. I bet with a, a bit of boiled linseed, it would look real classy, real nice. So I will keep that on there and let you be able to use your rod all the way up to the end here. This uh, this rod is also sharp enough for this scraper. Okay, I like that much better. Much better to use it on the side here. I really, I'm not a big fan of this this tooth system. I've had a couple rods now that came with that. And it just, uh, choose your rod. If you can see here, choose your rod right to pieces. And it uses a lot more of your ferro than I would uh, wish to use where I find using a straight side, almost a blade like this, it's much less aggressive. I got to say, it does throw a great spark. Let's try, uh, let's try the half inch rod. So here's that big fella. That is nice. That shock cord it's just, uh, see if I can untie that here. That's just too short. It's not a good system for me. Uh, shock cord is off. Boy, that is a nice ferro rod. Woohoo! Real nice. Now, let's give her a few scrapes. Just a few light scrapes to get some of that coating off. That is a nice shower of sparks because that rod is so wide too you get a little extra. Whoa! That is real nice. I mean what can you say it's a ferro rod it seems like a real good quality rod. It throws a heavy spark. Let's get some tinder under there and see uh, see how hot they are see how they do. I have a little bit of birch here and uh, a ferro won't usually light a flat surface like this. I'm going to use my scraper, if it's sharp enough, which it seems like it is, to kind of ruffle up the birch a little bit. Just enough to take a spark. Those scrapers are actually pretty nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Definitely, I could definitely see myself using that. Let's throw a few sparks. And there it is. Real nice, no problems. Let's light a bit more birch. That's not bad, that's pretty green uh, birch too. This wood was just brought in the garage. No problems there. This is a little bit of fibrous material off of spruce. I'm not sure what created it. Something in the in the cutting or handling process, I guess. I don't know if it was a chainsaw or what. But uh, let's give her a few strikes, see if it'll light. She's lit. She's gone out again, but the ferro rod did its job. You can't uh, can't blame that on the ferro. Well, that's a nice heavy shower of sparks. It's the first time I've used a half inch. And it's, uh, 
real nice really like the weight of it you really have something substantial in your hands for sure probably gonna be a lot of jokes and stuff made for all this the size a lot of innuendos people are gonna capture from that but take it easy in the comments section please okay let's give it a little bit of screen time to the to the Zunden I have no idea if I'm pronouncing those words correctly but Give that a go. It's not quite as fibrous as it should be. But look at that. Those little strikers, I tell you, I was, uh, gotta be honest, I don't usually like these little types of things, but it really does a great job. They're very sharp. Even in the way I'm using them on the side, which I don't think they're supposed to be used like that. I'm guessing they're supposed to be used this way. But I don't find that particularly comfortable in the to me it's not quite as effective but right right on the side here is how I like it very nice thank you very much Uber Lieben I appreciate uh, the support again they did not ask for a video or a shout out of any sort but again I have a little bit of a following now and they were nice enough to send me some some free stuff so why not uh, why not give them a little bit of attention recommended fair rods are great um, these the only downside I would say is these are not overly cheap I think this model here is somewhere around the 20 mark 23 24 dollars and this model here is somewhere around the 33 dollar mark which a half inch rod is not not going to be cheap anyways anywhere you order them but uh, for just uh, just the rod alone of course you can get a lot cheaper than that if you order it from SafeFireSeals.com, but I gotta be honest, I do like this product. Uh, if you're interested, check them out on Amazon. I'll throw a couple links in the description. Hit the like button, guys. Comment on my video. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Thanks for watching.